forward by Thomas and Groves. He got away from Lawrenson. But Lawrenson then recovered and Groves had to shoot quickly under some challenge. But Groves got half a yard there. Lawrenson was trying to make up the ground. Groves had to shoot early and wide. Allenson. Quinn nearly in and Hayes could be. Swift movement across the 18-yard line by Arsenal. The ball was moved on. From the initial cross by Allenson, flicked on by Groves. The Liverpool head got to it there. And it fell off Hansen for Martin Hayes. Ronnie Whelan placing the ball. Jan Molby standing just behind him. Mark Lawrenson has joined Johnston on the far side of the area. Molby, there is Lawrenson, and it's going to run on to Johnston. Rush waiting in the centre here. Away by Quinn, corner to Liverpool. Walsh, rush, oh, goal! <laughs> Typically in rush. Liverpool supporters celebrate a smartly taken goal. The corner pull back, Paul Walsh with the header through, rush turning and finding the corner. Johnston's corner, and the two strikers combining here, that was... Ian Rush, in one simple movement, summed up perfectly. It's his 31st of the season, and it came in the 21st minute. Arsenal nil, Liverpool 1. And Grobelaar to meet Quinn. And those supporters behind Grobelaar's goal get exactly the kind of start they were hoping for from this important first division match. They wanted it played in early there. Groves. Morby's mistake. Quinn hit the post. Grobelaar against the post again. And Arsenal can't believe how it stayed out. And I'm not sure Grobelaar knows either. How close can you get? In Arsenal's case, not close enough. The score remains 1-0 after one of the most bizarre goal line incidents of the season. Not that Quinn caught it all that well, I don't think, at first, but that's academic, he did get a shot in. It came to him off Mulby. He did beat Grobelaar, hit the post. Grobelaar's left hand, post again, and out. I think Quinn thought it may have crossed the line. Stoppage time being added on now by the referee. Spackman with the throw for Liverpool. This is Whelan. It's Adams' header, then Thomas, who didn't make it. McMahon did. Rush, Mulby. And Thomas has gone down injured. This is McMahon. And Rush is through again. Lukic did well to come out and get a hand to that. That save might have kept Arsenal in the match because they've got Michael Thomas down on the ground injured and Ian Rush was ghosting it again just look how he dodges the defender on the blind side Tony Adams was left standing but John Lukic certainly wasn't McMahon's pass precision ball really and it could have been 2-0 to Liverpool Tony Adams learning with every game and a uh, little lesson there again perhaps as John Lukic passes on some words of advice Michael Thomas good looking ball Perry Groves on the far side it needs a cross and it didn't get one Grove Gussell
Paul Walsh running on, this is dangerous, rush to his left, it's still Walsh. This is a determined performance from him. Rush chasing on here, this is Johnston. Barry Venison, all the space there, rush, danger here, it was Walsh who had the chance. But John Lukic has now made two saves, each of which has kept Arsenal in the hunt. The marking here was poor. Ian Rush had a lot of room between O'Leary and Adams, and nobody watched Walsh at all apart from the goalkeeper. Quinn mistimed that, but uh, Lawrenson didn't. Sansom. And Quinn's in there again. Mulby. Anderson, still Arsenal, Hayes, well saved. Oh, looking for Groves, Hansen to intercept. And now with Hansen out of position, Arsenal have an opportunity with Hayes. Thomas, Spackman held things up, Rowcastle. And now Walsh again. It's two against three. But Mulvey's coming up to make it three for Liverpool. It's Walsh on the ball. The speed of this match is quite bewildering. The sheer pace of one attack after another. This was Liverpool breaking fast out of defence. And Walsh looking around, going alone, beating O'Leary. And then firing his shot high and wide. There's Adams, Quinn's in there, Anderson, wide, possibly with a deflection, looking towards a corner, and they've got it, now Arsenal all abuzz here, As the corner comes in, Adams at the near post, Allenson with a flick, and it came off uh, Lawrenson, I think, into Grovelar's arms. Paul Walsh off, and John Aldridge on. Aldridge, there he is, and he's got a good first touch in there to Spackman. Rush, and Rush going at the defence. We've got the two lookalikes on the pitch now. <laughs> Aldridge and Rush, can you tell the difference? Good length this time on the kick from uh, Lukic. Ruff and Tumble on the edge of the area, play on, Allinson, Groves is waiting for the cross, there he is, Rowcastle! Well, there have been a couple of shooting opportunities for Arsenal, but each time the forward has got underneath the ball, rather. Ferry Groves here was the player that set it up, and Rowcastle struck it. Might have actually been an appeal by Arsenal for a deflection on this. Anyway, it was well over. Rowcastle. Oh, well played by him. Quinn just stretching all the way. Never quite able to come in on that, Niall Quinn. But he made a bold effort. And there was some good approach play by this 19-year-old number seven, David Rowcastle. But Quinn could have done no more with that. These young players who are being asked to show even more resilience now. Well, they feel they've won the match. 
and they may feel a few of them that they've gone a long way towards winning the championship. Johnston, Mulby, Rush. That's uh, good control by Rush. The pass asking a bit much of uh, McMahon. In fact, there were three players round him, and there could be a chance for Arsenal even now. That was a good ball by Niall Quinn. It found Gus Caesar, he found Perry Groves. There are three in the centre. Peels for handball against Whelan. Only by the crowd. This is Roe Castle. Oh, Lawrenson away from Quinn. Can they do it yet, Arsenal? Not this time. A measured, methodical performance by Liverpool, saying an awful lot about how many times they've been over the course before. Their supporters quite delighted, and Ian Rushgold gives them victory.